Hey, so what is going on everyone? It is me, Mr. Mario, and today I'm bringing you this tutorial because this is something that I wanted to do quite recently when I picked up a few old PS1 games that I wanted to play on my PS3, but my jailbroken PS3 does not have a properly working Blu-ray drive. So if you have a jailbroken PS3, I'm going to show you all how easy it can be to play a PlayStation 1 ISO or PlayStation 1 game on your system. So first off, we're going to need a few things. First off, I use Multiman. Now you could also use Iris Manager, but I choose to use Multiman. So I just downloaded the base version of this, uh, which you can download if you don't have it, or you can download the update right here if you have an older version of Multiman. It doesn't hurt to keep it updated. Uh, you can also use Image Burn right here, where uh, this is going to be optional if you don't have a, or if you have an ISO on hand, you don't need this, but if you don't have an ISO on hand, uh, like what I'm going to do, I'm going to rip my own game. You can just go ahead and go here to download and download it wherever you want to. Uh, finally, if you have a big flash drive or hard drive that you want to use for this, uh, I recommend using this tool called GUI Format or FAT32 Format, and you can actually easily format any drive you have to FAT32, which the PlayStation 3 is compatible with. So once you have all those set up, I'm going to show you all what you can do. First off, you will need a flash drive or anything like that, so I'm going to be using my flash drive right here, which is a 16 gig, well, rounded down 15 gig flash drive. I'm just going to call it PS3, do quick format right here, and as you can see, it formatted it easily enough. So once you do that, you can go ahead and close out of there. That's only if you have a really big drive that you need to do. And then finally, right here, you want to make sure that you have your multi-man downloaded and you want to have your ISO right here. Now, if you have a game that you want to rip over, like myself, you can do two things. You could either one, just rip it directly over to your PS3 using multi-man, which I will not show you, but it's really easy to do. Or two, you can rip it over using your computer, which I'm going to use for image burn right here. So what I did is I loaded up Image Burn, and I'm just going to put in my disk, go to Create Image File from Disk, and as you can see, it's going to load it up. That is my Xeno Gears right here, and I'm also going to show you all how to do it if you have multi-disc games. So first off, if you have a regular game, you can just go ahead and save it, whatever you want to. I recommend using bin format right here. You can use image if you want to, but ISO, I don't really recommend that for a PlayStation 1 game. Just keep it at bin. And then here's the thing, Xenogears is a two-disc game. So if you have multi-disc games, what you should do is keep them in one folder. And then in here, you want to keep all of the discs in one folder. Uh, but I'm just going to call this one Xenogears D1 for disc 1 and hit save right there and then you can hit this button and it will start ripping it over. Alright so once those are all done being ripped this is what your folder structure should look like. So right here I have a folder for Xenogears and you want to go in and here's another thing. Now your bin and Q file for each disk that you rip you want to make sure that they are named exactly the same. Uh, you also want to make sure that your bin file or whatever image file you use is a kind of shortened name. If you have a super long name, that's actually been known to not boot up games properly. So Xenogears D1, Xenogears D2, it gets the point across. Now there's also another thing you can do to make your games look a little bit better. You can actually do this. So I ended up downloading the cover for this game right here. And as long as it is a JPEG file, it has to be under uh, 1024 by 1024. This one is under that, but you need to call it cover.jpg, and if you put that in the same folder as your games right there or your ISOs, uh, then you'll actually have a cover show up when you load everything up. So once you have that set up right there, uh, the reason why I also say keep these together as well too is because if you have to switch disks, it's much easier to do it like this because each game essentially uses its own memory card because the memory card for any saves that you use will be in this folder. So what you want to do is you just want to go ahead and copy your game right here, go over to your flash drive and in the root of your flash drive you need to make a folder called PSX games and inside that folder right there you want to go ahead and just drop in your ISOs right there now the last thing you want to do if you already have your PS3 jailbroken and you don't have multi-man or you need to update it go ahead and take the file that I told you all to download if you needed it and go over to your flash drive and just in the root of your flash drive paste the PKG file right there so you can go ahead and install your application. Once that is done being copied over, you can go ahead safely eject your drive and then pop it into your PS3. 
So once you go over to your PS3, go ahead and put your flash drive into the system, go to your game section, and then install package files if you do not have Multiman or you need to update Multiman. If it gives you the multiple options to pick where a package file can be installed from, just go ahead and select the standard area if you copied and pasted your package file straight into the root of the flash drive. Now once that's done installing or copying or updating whatever you want to do, go ahead, go back, and boot up Multiman. Now once you have Multiman up and running, go ahead go over to the right where the retro section is and if you have everything set up according to the default folders you should have your ISOs right there where you can go ahead and just select one normally. So as you can see it was that easy essentially all you need to do is take your games that are ISOs copy them into a certain folder on your flash drive install a certain program on your PS3 and that's it you don't have to patch them you don't have to repackage them in any sort of way you can just essentially as long as you have Multiman or Iris Manager copy and paste them onto your flash drive and then play Play them as is and most popular ISO formats are supported. So anyways this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching everyone. I hope this video helped you all out.